Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Remick and welcome back to more Stoneheart. For those of you just tuning in after the last few episodes, or maybe need a reminder, um, essentially, first of all, they've made this logo smaller, but essentially what, what happened is we were overflowing in terms of having way too many items, so we decided the best way to deal with that was to make a wall out of clay, something which we had a lot of, as you can see. I let the game run, and you can most likely see the wall is built. Like, I am literally Donald Trump, as you may have seen in the last thumbnail. Um, and obviously here's where the old town is. Also, I finally enabled my cursor to be captured, so I can actually point things out. In other news regarding that, um, I've created these, um, that I think ha the name of it is something like Vault the Wall, and essentially, if no enemies can spawn inside of this area, obviously, because this counts as my town, but in the event that some enemies may spawn, say, around here, what they'll have to do is they'll climb up here, and the moment they reach around here, I would get an alert, but they have to climb up those ladders, break down that door, climb down those ladders, break out that door, and if, obviously, if I'm fast enough and say it's a massive horde that I don't think I'll be able to take on, I can remove that door, and like maybe put an archer up here to fire him through the window. It's really useful. I've got two of these. Um, second wall is down here, and I don't think it's... It, it doesn't look complete, but I can guarantee you it still works. I have put all the ladders in. But yeah. Anyway, so that's sort of where we're at. As you can see, our mine has still yet to go really sort of sicko mode. Um... However, what I do know is according to this stone, we should be able to come out around here onto this other side of the lake if we so desire. However, right, first of all, I'm going to sell some stuff to the chef. Okay, I see layered cake. I mean, I, I have a lot of money, but I also have a lot of space. They've definitely updated the game, because um, I swear they didn't have this in, but I suppose we'll buy... We'll buy all of them, just so that way he can buy more of our useless crap off us. So things like that, get rid of it. I'm still going to hold on to that and Verana skin, just because I want to see how it ends up. Building things. Now, I know for a definite, I'm currently not building anything major. All the things have been finished, so any sort of building resource. So, for example, this, these clay bricks. Everything's been constructed with clay, so I really don't need it. Things like that, I can easily go and get rid of. Engineer's sign. We've set him off to craft that so he's able to craft higher things, if you don't remember. Obviously going to get those out of town. Um, goblin on a token, keeping that in case I get another... What's it called? Chance to craft the Vow of Sid. Alright, borrowed time. So, also catching up, um, we have rabbits in our thing now. Um, anyway. Oh, okay, after the episode ended, I gave them my herbalist. But, if I can remember the name of one of them, it's an archer. We have two rabbit people living in our town. One is an archer, one is a worker. And I believe I also got fire... I got fire arrows last time as well. Which is... I really want the rabbit people to leave, or two people in my current village to die. And that might be kind of dark, but the main problem is now is that the game is lacking a lot. Anyway, let's check in all the um, little staff. The engineer's workshop. And then also always maintain one of them. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we could make a regular turret, or I'm just checking what we can make here. So Right, let's look at this regular turret. And bronze gear and two iron gears. Okay, well I can make a second one of them. Because obviously this is kind of being a pain boot because we have no tin. Um so that's iron and that requires iron ingots. I mean we can I can check if we have that. Yeah. I am hoping Sony Vegas makes this look a lot nicer than how it looks on my screen currently. Um, iron. We do not even have a blacksmith high enough to craft that. So, that's on hold. Um, from what I remember though, we... Do we have any major... Oh, a new adventure awaits. Also, they're gonna try and get us to move on to reduce lag. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could ditch this town and move on to a new one with some extra stuff. So all this food, my god. My game is getting very wacky, if you can't tell. Um, but basically, I th I can re-embark on a new town if I get bored of this. Obviously, that's series 3. And even though there is technically 4 series, that would be series 4, because there was series 1, 
which was like one episode, and then I watched the second episode, and I think the third one's still around somewhere. Then there's the second one where um, that was around time of craft SMP and all that. Third one is obviously this, but I've labeled it season two because it's the second proper full season. And yeah, so um, I think we should probably have some blood sacrifices. Uh, okay, not in that way, YouTube, but I mean, as in, we have a bunch of these work people that we don't really need anymore, I dare to say. Like, for example, Sam, Sam Rao, like, it's a potter. Like, we could most likely trap them in a box. I just want to get rid of some people, so I'm not... It, it, I'm, I'm not going to do anything directly, but I, if... It's just, I don't know, say if this goblin camp came to raid us and... Someone was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, oh well. Just to ease up on the lag, though. Um, yeah, like the building that wall should have cleared up some stuff, but like every little mini bit of all, any little logs, those will take up things because they're checking if they're being interacted with non-stop. Anyway, so we have this whole lake that I haven't touched, and I thought it'd be kind of cool if. I made something on the lake because for those of you who don't know how the series is basically going towards um, number one, getting non stop daily updates and I have to decline them. And two, this mine is probably notorious for being ridiculously unhelpful. So if I was to just, I don't know, cancel tasks all throughout here, look at the zones again. Okay, of course. Um, if I, in fact, you know, screw it. Uh, I'm going to take a while and I'm just going to start removing things from this mining zone because one of the first things that I ever remember wanting to do in this series is what I want, if I'm going to build something on the water, I need to lower the water level. And in order to do that, I have to remove this mini dam I installed God knows how long ago. Now what should happen in theory is obviously it's water so it's going to flow in and it's going to flood there. Now I'm obviously just going to Stop the mining altogether, and I am going to talk while I'm doing this because I think it's important for me to explain the idea. So I'm going to let them empty all of this, and I'm going to set up a new mine in because for those of you who don't, that was originally a stone mine, and I just kept it because I, I was getting enough ore. But I'm getting to the point now where people want a new series to begin because this has been going on for so long. The series is beginning to reach its final legs, and I don't want it to be rolled out all the way to the end, if that makes sense. I don't want to milk it, essentially, so Season 3 comes back. I'm going to be the wins for people in Season 3, just because I think, one, that's going to be a cool new dynamic, sort of seeing that scenery. And two, I really don't like the desert people, but I do know they have some unique things. So especially in the final season, I think it's a boss monster that you, that's unique to the desert area. Seas, like season, The final season, which is, will be that unless they had anything major, or we have like, you know, a nostalgia thing further down the road, like, oh, remember this old series that did way back when, in year 11? Yeah, you know, things like that. Um, you know, it'll be a nice sort of finale. Anyway, so the general plan here is to suspend the mining for the whole of this episode. Anything useful in here, so for example, I, and by the way, the reason I'm removing all these zones is so people are not in there when I fo Ooh, I could actually, I could be a little bit sadistic and, uh, you know, not give them any warning that it's going to be flooded. I could just have someone you know, remove the ladders out of the ditch and, you know, also demolish the dam, henceforth drowning everybody inside. You know, I'll think about it. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, basically I've put all these squares down expecting it to be done ridiculously fast. And because I've got more, more and more halflings, obviously it's gotten to a point now where I can't do that at all because well I mean you know it's just every single new halfling slows the game down a lot more and it's just a matter of if they keep mining stuff that isn't useful then the slowdown of having all these new items generated really isn't really isn't worth it in my opinion okay damn we're getting saves it's going to take too long now as long as I'm fast about it damn you can even see my cursor just going out back and forth as fast as humanly possible. 
I mean, I know what it's like when something's a certain amount of time long and you expect to get a bunch done in it, so I'm going to breeze through this as fast as possible. Um, so, yeah. Essentially, the plan is get them to remove all the nice stuff this episode, and then maybe, maybe at the end of this episode or at the end of the next episode, once all the good stuff that needs to be removed is removed or used in whatever way they need it to be. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to be building the stone that much more, but, yeah, we'll see. I'll set up a new mine in the hills, which is where ore is. Like, there is ridiculous amounts more of ore in the hills. So I might as well have something on a higher elevation where it's like, you know. Obviously, I'm going to dig down a decent way and then dig. So that way, I can sort of, you know, make a little tunnel for some water. Be like, yeah, you know, you know what? You, you do you. And obviously, I'll flood that as well at the end. But it's just, the reason I'm doing this now rather than never is... It's finally sort of dawned on me that I can't keep saying, Oh, we might get some iron this episode, we might not. It's a matter of, this whole area, I might get enough iron for what I want to do. But I could do get the exact same amount of iron and rare metals in a completely different area in a short amount of time. Now, I don't know how I managed to mess up the gridding in this as well that badly. Like, for those of you wondering, I mean, like, it's sort of it's off-centre. Obviously, I've removed the majority of it, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it restricts you mining such small areas or maybe it's the fact that these are such large areas The game just doesn't know how to process them So you see the me or the game like these might be massive areas for the game But on my screen they are small as hell like I think one house is probably the size of one of these squares Anyway, I should probably start um, op um, That sort of thing now Like no one's really gonna also if this all blended together as well probably would work a lot better but yeah anyway so now any sort of extraction work they've got to do can begin um i hope they start putting it in crates I'm talking about crates i probably need a new storage hole so yeah we might as well work on that so let's see how are we doing so now that anything that was under there in terms of mine operation dead in the water so um, let's look at where I could start a new mine within the walls. That's important. So obviously that isn't the first wall. It's just the first of many. Also, now is probably good enough time as any to clear out the massive infestation problem we have with pests. Like I, just keep, I keep noticing little goblin camps there. Where is it? There was there is a goblin camp somewhere near here, I think. Unless I skimmed over it or have I already had people clear it. Right, a trader. One giant bone axe for 15 light bandages. No, we don't need that. Ah. Huh. Okay, well, anyway. Where's... Okay, here would probably be a good spot, but it's that far away. But as you can see, already, there's, like, iron showing up in the thing. Um. Yeah, I think in terms of... Right, Shepherd level 4, good for you. Huh. Let's find a good spot. Okay. Yes, an enemy. Wow. I've, I, I don't know why the game does that. Like, yeah, I've sent them to attack that specific area. I know there's an enemy there. Hmm. So, obviously, this is going to be like the mini flood. I mean, we could just flood it now, if I'm honest. Should we flood it now? I mean, let's be honest. This whole episode has been just there. Should we flood it? Should we not flood it? It's all just clay for the majority of it. Clay, clay, clay. I don't see anything really of value in here. At all, if I'm honest. Right, well. <laughs> oh, okay, looks like I'm doing things early. Might see, I'm just gonna... Oh, I have to mine the individual blocks. This is gonna be brutal. And um, I'll do it from this side, because obviously, you know, there's water. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even realise someone died there. It just was, it was there. <laughs> Oh my god, I can, I can literally just delete it now if I want this. Right, I'm going to get someone to move Freya's grave. Didn't know there was someone called Freya that died, but there, there is. Um, obviously, I don't think we need that wall there anymore. We literally have a moat. Okay. Anyone, anyone want to pick up the job? Or can I just... Because uh, the moment I click the, this delete button here, it will just collapse and the water will begin to rush in. Obviously, now I've got to get a good thumbnail shot of that as well. So, I mean, hey, if I mess this up, I'm going to hate myself. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's paused. 
Oh, it's Paul, so that's why no one's come to collect Greystone. Okay, exit out of build mode. I'm just going to put it in normal speed and go F5. F5, please, please, please. Okay, F5 as in, please. I, I, I wish you want you to delete my UI for me right now. Oh, God. Right, okay, it appears... Flooding things does not seem to like the game very nice. You know, you know what I mean. The game doesn't like me flooding it. Oh my god! Stupid Discord server, stop pinging me. Right, well, I mean, it'd be rude not to check in on how it's going in inside there. Uh, I'm assuming the water's going to continue to rise like Titanic. Damn. Like it is. <laughs> I will admit, it's taking a little longer than I expected, but it is on regular speed. Okay, we've got our UI back. Okay, and you're gonna complain me about random crap for scaffolding. I don't care. I just want to see things flood, damn it. And there it is. Oh, oh, that is terrifying. Like, could you imagine that like working in there as it floods? <laughs> like your madman god of a dictator is just like, you're gonna die today. <laughs> oh, yeah. As you can see, the water level here in the long, it's like obviously it's a massive ass lake, so it's not gonna dip too much. But it hopefully dips like enough to where I'm able to put something in on top of it. Damn. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I'd actually see the day where it flooded. I will be honest. Um, you know what? I'll crank it up to times three speed just for extra dramatic effects, I suppose. <laughs> oh god, like they, there's a what is he doing? Look, the, the, it's the cave is. Oh my god. I, I, how, how many unknown dead people are there inside this cave? Jesus. I'll put, I'll put them there. <laughs> like, they've not even got a proper burial, but at least it's at least it's better than not even being remembered in a cave that's flooded. <laughs> oh, it's not even the direct way in. Hmm. St uh, still coming in at a ridiculously fast pace. Um, I probably need to build a bridge over now I think about it. Just so I can get in and out of the wall if I want to. <laughs> I think that's... Okay, that is pretty satisfying. I will step that back down to regular though. And we'll turn off slice mode. <laughs> oh, I was expecting it to be a lot more anticlimactic. And it just... Eh. Oh well. Oh god, so I have to like... Do I have to, I have to extend onto the end of it? Fine then. <laughs> Right, build. Make sure no structures are red. What are you on about? That's like the best that you can get. How am I supposed to... Just blocks? What? Why doesn't it let me do that? What about road then? Just have a bit of... Oh my god, you can see it rising. Jesus. <laughs> Um, I'll make that too wide. No, I'll make it three wide, actually, just because why not? Okay, can I build that? Okay, I can, I can get them to build something, at least. Right, is that still... F that is still flowing in. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I said I wouldn't intervene, so I mean... No, I mean... I mean no reason not to. Hey, hey. Oh, okay, is that an army over there? Right, you know, you're right, you know... Right, this waterfall is cool and all, but... I think I'm actually in genuine danger. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Right. Well. I mean, hey. I mean, that's... <laughs> oh, that's definitely a highlight right there. Let's go. Boom. Put that there. Right, what else is that? Is it just doing it because... Oh, my God. There is two people attacking at once. Okay, so we've dealt with them. No one else is hiding around, right? Nobody? Okay. Well, I mean, they're sort of near where I'm going to go send people to begin mining. I'm going to assume send them and obviously start the mining around the area where I can physically see it all sticking out. Uh, yeah, I think we have access to this second layer, don't we? Yes. Okay, yeah, we do. Why are they cowering? There's no more enemies there, is there? Okay, so they have access to this second layer up. Um, right, while, while those guys are fighting them off, I will actually have to think. Right, raise slice by. Um, we'll say raise it by five. 
Oh, I forgot how weird this is, because it's it all depends on what level your first thing is. And that's what it snaps to. Um, yeah. Say we'll start it here-ish. See, it seems about right. The invader's approaching, wow. You know, you know, just let, let it happen at this point. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll get used to it eventually. I said I wouldn't intervene. I'm sticking by that. Okay, I'm going to lower my slices slightly just so I'm able to see, like, the direct top of it. Oh my god! What is this? This is legitimately the game right now. I wish I was joking. You know what? Natural selection. Damn it. Oops! Puyat Bindel is suddenly very low on health. Golly gee, if only I cared. <laughs> I mean, that sounds mean, but I mean, having this many people in a town is... Killing my computer, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just gonna lower this down to as low as I can. I'm gonna end up draining the whole damn place. Oh, okay, I'm. Right, okay. It all goes well until I'm about to die. In which case, right? Can people stop dying, please? What is what is the point? Right, like, don't we have a mage or something to deal with, you know, death and all that stuff? Like, the mage is there. Why are you dead? I mean, hey, okay, at least we've got fire arrows, which is very cool, I will admit. Hang on a second. Okay, so if our entire army dies, then in theory, what we can do is we can still send people to recover. Wait, okay, how many... What, what, what remnants of our army are left? And more importantly, why can we just not win this battle, please. Right, okay, wow. Wow, far, far more level 5? Wow, I, I really couldn't care less at this point. Yeah, I have a feeling I've sent them to all to their deaths. Like, what have you got? You've got mage, and you've got archers. Right, okay, actually, no. Okay, they're actually getting to it, which is alright. They've got two mages, we've got one mage. Right, sounds like the perfect time for someone to come and pick these boys up, if I'm honest. Um... How many of them are actually incapacitated? It's just three here. Well, pick me up as well. I am the more important one. How many people are incapacitated? One, two, three. Okay, where's the fourth one? Okay, wait. It says four are incapacitated. What? Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Ar Rabbit Archer. Can't really let him die because I want to... I, I don't care about your plant shop. Okay, then again, that actually looks pretty nice. Okay, and I, re I need to get stop getting distracted. But you gotta pick up their unconscious bodies. Not a piece of stone. Pick up the person dying in front of you. Oh, sometimes I love this game. And you know what? Sometimes I really think, why continue the series when I can just do the Geomancer in a completely different series? Okay, why? Why is there? A Oh, because I bought a bunch of pets at some point. Yeah, okay. Alright, oh, that's one person rescued. Or is that two? I don't know. How many people does it say rescuing one person at once? So you've got one incapacitated, three incapacitated. Okay, so he's the one being carried off. And then that makes one, two. I saw there was four people that were dead, though. Okay, I'm being carried off. He's still dead. Um, okay, so everyone's like... Okay, that's, that's cool. Shook down. Okay. Some goblins found an entrance to our hovel. Right, we'll brew potions and we'll give them to you immediately. Even though we probably need them more than you do. Make some health tonics. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, and they're going to give me four gold flakes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Four people are incapacitated in total. Well, I have to say, at this point... Oh, buried knowledge. Oh my god. Is this something advancing? Right, my dear human friends, for generations since we lap, I know we've found an ally is trustworthy as you. We decide to offer you a precious gift. We'd like to bring one of your own into our realm for a time to teach them the art of geomancy, finally! Okay, do you understand how valuable geomancy is to us or the history of mankind, the Amberstone? Uh, we'll say we know all about it. Now it's business. We'll like someone if you're esteemed citizens. Okay, sounds exciting. Bloody finally. Okay, they'll be gone for around seven days. Okay, let's see. 
Who could I possibly send? Oh, wait, can I? Because I send one. I can't send one of theirs back. Damn. Um, yeah, Idris Idol. Considering she's idle 24/7, as implied by her name, I think she's the perfect person to send. Okay, th there's a wild cat running around in circles. Okay, I have to say this episode has been pretty weird. Um, I'm still gonna put it out because otherwise the un the sheer amount of terror of people questioning what the hell happened in the the one episode which like just wasn't aired. I think yeah, I'm gonna spare myself from that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm annoyed that I can't dig down immediately though. Like that that sort of annoys me. Oh my god. <laughs> I could use the X-ray tool to dig down actually. Now I think about it. Because X-ray appears to be the new <laughs> Okay. Friendship with Spice Tool is now over. X-ray tool is now new friend. And um, it actually removes like a way too much stuff. That you know <laughs> normally be needed. Screw. It. Okay, well I think I'm gonna make this guy dig down into the abyss a little bit more. Depends, how far did I commission him to mine? <laughs> okay, you know, I hope it wasn't too much, because I don't want it to honestly go on for ages. Right, we'll just say from, like, there on out, we can... Oh, this is really weird for me to actually try and manage, but I'm going to try and... Why does it rotate so, like, in such a wide arc? I don't, I don't get this game at all sometimes. So I don't get why I bought this game at times. It's still apparently very unfinished, according to, like, most people I sit here <laughs> talking about it. Okay, legitimately, sometimes I hate this game with a burning passion. Why? Why is it so difficult to build a tunnel downwards? It, sh it shouldn't be. It should be easy to build a tunnel. Anyway, we have we have managed to acquire more gold than we would normally have ever got, you know, in the opening of that cave. So, I mean, credit where it's due. <laughs> they, I mean, they know how to get to work. I'll give them that. Anyway, now, now I'm going to spend probably 10 hours crying myself to sleep over the fact that this is literally the hardest task I may ever undertake. Yeah, there's like... <laughs> oh my god, sometimes this game is absolute gem. I think that's an ending and a half. Uh, how I'm going to get the ladders into this, mind you. God's... Wife's biggest questions. <laughs> oh god, right, well. There's not much more I can do other than pray that death comes to me sooner. <laughs> um, you know, I, th I hope that's lower than the goddamn river, because I want to flood this, damn it. Aha, uh -huh. oh, it clearly isn't, because oh, everything hates me right now. Why can't I just go down all the way to the bottom of, like, the floor... Wait, hang a second. Can? Okay. Okay, no, I, w I want you to dig down. As in, the negative direction. <laughs> oh, God, this is literally the worst tunnel system in the history of maybe ever. Do I have to physically get inside of the tunnel to dig further? Yes, that is... That apparently is how this game wishes for me to dig. Fine, then. I will... I will play how this game wants me to play, which is by literally walking down my own tunnel <laughs> to dig. I have to say, not the most thrilling way to end an episode, but damn it, this episode wasn't thrilling at all, really, let's be honest. So, um, if you enjoyed this episode, and just way too long, then be sure to thumbs up, possibly subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below. Um, I'm sorry that you've had to witness this at all, really. I mean, it's kind of terrifying that you even volunteered to in the first place, but I mean, hey... I promise that the other episodes aren't that bad. Some of them are alright. Just just this episode, man. <laughs> it has proceeded to break me. Maybe spiritually, mentally, most likely physically as well. Right, okay. No, I want the... Go down! Go down! Finally! 
Uh, I'm gonna be here a while. I just ha I have a gut instinct to feel right. Well, right, you know, we'll, we'll lower the, the, the bloody lake. That's fine. That's this is fine. Okay. I don't I don't care what route they take to dig down. They just if they do it, I'll be happy. So that said, I'm outside, and this hell finally coming to an end. We are finally going to actually. I don't. I do not want your goddamn seeds or daily updates. Uh, we should be able to finally use the engineer. Um, I'm gonna actually let them dig down and sort out that mine and get it on the way um, before I actually start rendering and editing this, just so that I'm able to. You know, obviously I'm gonna put some time into wine ingots as well, just so that it's able to be set up for the next time. But yeah, so with all said and lot aside, thanks for watching guys. Mine's been Remick and Peace. Out.